Washington, President Donald Trump continues to erroneously claim he won the election, and several Republican lawmakers say they plan to help fight the election results in the next step of the certification process. Though President-elect Joe Biden won the 2020 presidential election, Trump and several of his allies have claimed, with virtually no evidence, that the election was fraudulent and have pledged to fight when Congress meets on January 6 to formally count the votes of the Electoral College. Last month, states certified their Electoral College results, and Biden secured the election overall with 306 votes to Trump's 232. The Constitution requires both chambers of Congress to meet before the inauguration to count the electoral votes from every state. Though Congress is expected to certify the votes, this typically ceremonial event has drawn more attention this year because a group of Republican lawmakers have indicated they plan to contest the results. Nearly all states resolved election disputes before the safe harbor deadline, guaranteeing their electors will be counted under federal law. But several GOP lawmakers signed a letter pledging to object to the results unless Congress investigated the election before they counted. Any objections to a state's results on January 6 would require support from at least one House representative and one senator to be considered. The two chambers would meet separately to debate and vote on any disputes. Trump has met with some members to discuss plans to object to Biden's Electoral College win. The effort is sure to fail in the Democratic-controlled House and likely in the Senate, where several Republicans led by Majority Leader Mitch McConnell have warned colleagues not to challenge the Electoral College vote. Several, including McConnell, have acknowledged Biden as the victor. However, a group of nearly a dozen senators announced they would join the effort unless an emergency 10-day audit of the election returns in the disputed states is completed. Here are the lawmakers who have claimed or suggested that they will contest the results. Tuberville, a freshman Republican senator who was sworn into office January 3, first indicated in December that he might fight the vote. It's impossible. It is impossible what happened, Tuberville, said referring to Biden's victory. But we're going to get that corrected. You'll see what's coming. You've been reading about in the House. We're going to have to do it in the Senate, Tuberville stated. On Saturday, he announced his support for Cruz's effort, saying he will vote to reject electors from disputed states until that commission has an opportunity to conduct its review, which I believe can and should happen before Inauguration Day. Brooks is leading an effort in the House of Representatives to reject Biden's Electoral College victory.